We can see some crazy stuff coming out here. It's early morning in Seattle, and the teams are raring to go. Yep, yep. it's a little bit of copying, I guess, right? We're bringing out the Willow Carry, but some innovation here. We do see a, a little bit of that switch up. It's going to be, again, the Earth Spirit picked in the last phase. This is one of those heroes that's definitely been looking super good, incredibly hard to deal with mobile hero. Um, do you think he's going to have a good time against Puck? As, hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. Kasane in far forward, push back to Blinding Light in trouble, and just like that, Arteezy gonna draw first blood. Oh, okay, very good start here, obviously. Eight and five, I mean, this has always been sort of the bread and butter of this group of players, right? You've got so much strong laning, and Saberlight in trouble down bottom. He's gonna go down, so in spite of the strong lanes, TSM managed to find a kill. They wanna start stacking up some quills first. Whitemon, though, oh, no, he's gonna find the trap. They move in. And that should be enough to force oh, yeah. back. He, yeah, he can snowball over that too if they want to come in. All right, all right. Thinking about it, goes in. Inkswell breaks it, and now moving in. Fly in trouble. Tomato shows up. They find themselves an easy kill. <laughs> you can see when the level starts stacking up on this combo. This is why it is just so oppressive. I mean, what, what's a Dark Willow gonna do, right? Yeah, you're you're gonna die if you get caught inside of this. They have so much damage. Shadow Realm can't Although save you. This, this. this is how you get some help. They drop down the coil, try to move in on a Kasane. Will be able to go for some extra damage. Ari, no way to stop this. Now, does have the courier coming through this direction? Crit is going to be the first point of contact. Might be a little bit early on this one. Abed also showing up. Nobody else nearby. They're also hunting Dark Willow up on the top side of the map. So two simultaneous ganks on these carries. Will it be enough to kill off the CK? Yes, it will. Can they bring down another, though? Looking for it. Trying to finish. Arteezy terrorized. Gets a bunch of them away. But Bryle able to dodge it. Oh, that was really well done with the roll. Uh, of course, changes to that outpost area where right. Saberlight is right now. Trying to get some vision now, trying to block out these camps. Trying to utilize this tusk to catch this coddle. Like, Crit still doesn't die. Well, this could be interesting. They roll in with a couple and now looking for the kick. Do they have enough damage? Magnetize is there. Crit's starting to fall, but they've already lost the Grimstroke. Now maybe going to lose another, although with the Dawnbreaker ultimate, they come through and connect. Fly going to die. It ends up being a two-for-one exchange. All right, switch is flipped. This is what they want, right? Oh, yeah. The machine guns rattling there from the Bristol to pave their way down here. Good D ward from Crit. Oh, there it is, that ward. Him. Yeah, gets perfect vision, connects, tries to TP away maybe. No, not going to do it. Terrorize? Holds it. And is just going to die. But with numbers coming in, maybe Shopify can find a little bit of retribution. And in fact, they will. That's going to be Bryle going down. So the big move gets punished. And they did finish getting that tower, too, so they kind of already got their goals they won down bottom anyway. On the slow side to get into position, he's wanting to wait outside of it. Doesn't have a ton of mana. It's got to be on Brile, right? It's all on the roll. And that then means of Dawn. They've got to. They need to take it down, and they're going to claim it. So they managed to get the Aegis. Now trying to get out, but tomorrow he's right on top of Arteezy! They find him and explode him! Oh, that Shadow Blade coming into play, and now Saberlight He's low. in no man's land. I mean, they're going to run this guy down. Bryo finds the back lines. Both of the supports in trouble. Tomato laying waste. Oh, that is not what Shopify were hoping. Everybody goes down. Abed oh, escapes with the Aegis, but that's... Oh, that is not great. Man, try to sneak one away after they did the Tormentor. Gets out of there. Now, does he realize that they're all right here? He's going to pass oh. by them, heads on over to the Creep Wave. Not aware of what's going on. Throws oh, out I, the hammer. I think he knows. All right, Shopify, do they want to chase this? Abed, eyes on him. Everybody's nearby. Kasane breaks the TP, and that's going to be an easy bring down. I mean, that's supposed to be your free pick, right? Because yeah. And full Bloodthorn completed. He reveals himself on this ward, so they see this on the side. Do they realize where he's at? Yes, they will. Thinking about it. Oh, the roll. Bryle gets the silence onto two, looks for more. Magnetize out, trying to follow up. Kex on the fly. Fly is gone. Didn't stand a chance there. Can they chase for any more? Ari looking for a snowball, a shards, anything oh. almost caught there onto Abed but not quite going to connect. And again, they dodge. I mean, they've been doing a good job of staying away. When the fights eventually happen, TSM are definitely coming out on top, though. Yeah, I mean, that's part of the problem, though, is that these intervals are just too far between the kills for TSM. Like, they, they just need to get more kills right now. 
Saber Light, jump forward, try to kill him off. Heart, start to kill, but they do eventually get him. But Abed goes down to Tomato. That was the reveal. The Blood Thor doing massive work and now trying to take down Saber Light. Can they bring him down too? Instead, pulls a crit. Tomato, this guy is unstoppable. He puts his sights on you. You are going to die. TSM, every fight has gone their way. Or TSM even going to give him the opportunity to. I mean, they still have three minutes left on this Aegis, and I think that's full heart on that <laughs> one. CK. Still no mobility, though. Oh, kick onto one. Saberlight pushed back. Now the fear, the damage. It starts raining down on top of him, but the snowball save is there. Okay, now rolling oh, in far in, forward. Though. This is already BKB used. Do they have the damage that they need? Yes, indeed. They take down two. Streaming forward, hunting for Tomato, looking for Kasane. Tomato might be able to get out of here. Although the invis slowing down, no, Saberlight doesn't fully commit for it. But that's the combo. Oh man, that's what they've been waiting for. Okay, all right. A bit of dream coil, but a rapid fire, bit of shadow realm. That was a lot of damage. I'm pretty sure that Arteezy doubled his damage yeah, throughout I the game in this did. fight. Yeah, he just did 4200. <laughs> so, you know, more than the entirety of TSM right there. Yep. And yeah, he did. Yep. Yeah, doubled the damage in uh, in one fight. That's how this is gonna work. We'll see what TSM oh, this, are going to do. This is bad news, game. Oh, wait, TSM? What? Again? Oh, no, the Tormi! <laughs> Racking up the kills in this one. <laughs> this guy's unstoppable. Ooh, both supports. 35 minutes in, and it feels like the game's just starting. Tomato steps up. Don't have vision. They pop the dust. See him now. Abed onto one. That's going to be a good connection. Takes away their save in the tusk. And now Tomato starting to rack through the damage. Look at the willow. Look at the damage. The right clicks are there, down to almost fully dead in one round of Shadow Realm. This is scary, Trent. Might die just from full if uh, those right clicks are streaming out from the Dark Willow. So currently it's a five second gap, right? Yeah. And Coddle's level 15. And right. Has CDR reduction. Six. You be careful though. Tomato, he's again caught. Damage starting to come forward. Dawnbreaker ultimate already connecting. Tomato dead. That's Aegis down. Now Abed, soulbound together. Crit in no man's land. He's in trouble. They get the silence now onto Arteezy. Do they have anybody that can find him though and deal the damage that they need? They've already taken down another. Ryle turned upon. Snowball save for the moment. Good damage out onto Fly. He's gone. And it's going to be a TP away for the Willow. Saberlight going to be brought down. No! Oh! Oh, just turns! Hard to kill this guy. Three seconds stun, but once they finally isolate, they'll kill Saberlight as well. Yeah, definitely need that combo, right? It is finicky. Yes. They need things to go well. Abed got really low there, barely able to survive and escape out of that fight. Abed's starting to deal some serious damage himself. He's got the full Mjolnir completed. Yeah, true. Trying to queue into the Refresher next. Now, it is a very short respawn time on Roche, but TSM has not checked it yet. They're still a little bit spread out. And, well, first point of contact, Saberlight running down is going to find White Mon. And that should be a quick one. As they got him yeah. in their sights, kill him off. Trying to collapse in on the rest of them. Ari off to the side. Saberlight runs right by him, gets the blink away, but a little bit far forward. And now the fight for Tiernate over on the other angle. Dawnbreaker ultimate down. Brile connecting, killing Fly. Saberlight throwing out those quill sprays. Brile rolls back in onto Saberlight. Abed is there, but they're having to back away. TSM all together. Inkswell onto Tomato. Turns, wants to get a sun. This Soulbind is going to connect onto both. And now the roll through. Kasane gets the heal back up from the Luminosity. And then the snowball save. That is what they needed. Arteezy under control. Down to half HP. Goes back into the Shadow Realm. And finally, they're going to bring him down. Kasane with the triple kill. He was so close to dying. Unbelievable. TSM trying to play cleanup as finally this moment has opened up for themselves. The snowball means that Saberlight is going to get controlled. Still dealing a lot of damage though. But Tomato moves back in. Three seconds stun. Godlike. It was right back to the laning stage right there. It was Ari and Kasade just jumping on top of Arteezy and blowing him up with the Walrus Punch and just the big damage there from that Dawnbreaker. No buyback. He goes all in. He just buys the eggs. Oh. He says, I got this. So, well, you know, he's, he's the first player from uh, Britain to play at TI. And he's taking a little bit of football. <laughs> 
in here. It's just gonna play in the tough, trying to kick people back and away. It's a little more American football, I think. Yeah, I think he's trying fair. to convert a bit here, right? Through the uprights. Silence. Roll, catches, decides to go for crit instead of the Willow. Now throwing out the damage, controlling on the Bryle. He's oh. dying. He's the cheese a whole second round. So much damage out from that Willow. When left alone, can they do enough though? Abed Chase, he doesn't quite manage to connect, and there's the TP out. Tomato? Willow not around anymore, but Tomato, Tomato? dying. The Saber Light. He's got the bug on him, but it just doesn't look like it's going to matter. Do they have enough to kill him off in time? Trying to kill him? And yes, they do. TSM taking a lot of damage, dealing a lot of damage, and everybody ends up falling. Just like that, I mean, there's no buyback on the Bristle, no buyback on the ET. You're gonna have to do this one with just a couple of heroes at this point as they even break through backdoor protection and start to lay out on it. They're going straight in, why not? Tier four towers, who needs to go get the racks? Trying to end this game right now. Arteezy coming back in, but he's on the far side of the map. Goes for the terrorized play, but the blink forward. Tomato dodges it immediately onto him. Goes for the silence. Nothing there. In trouble. Four staff tries to get away. Lane into Ari, but he's gone. That's it. Arteezy dead. 100 seconds. TSM clean up. Really, a, a draft kind of built from the ground up, I feel like, right? Getting super solid lanes, some nice combos. Lycan, definitely one that we are not going to be seeing very often, one that has fallen out of favor. So maybe let's touch more on that one, too. Yeah, I'm going to wait about five seconds for Moon to leave the booth so he can hear. This is just like... Oh, he's you, there. You there can tell him. You're playing against Shopify. You know, you got a last pick, Moon. You can hear me. You're picking up some Lycan. <laughs> like, um, at, least have a, at least having some pretty high armor as well, so not the most intimidated by the constant wolf pressure, plus, you know, attacks being relied upon here versus the Phoenix with the Fire Spirits. Has some defensive measures up here, and, uh, well, a defensive support, as you can see down bottom here. White Mon on the Shadow Demon. Oh, just stepped a little bit too close. The concussive shot, the Lucent Beam tries to get him away, but no. Saberlight, and a draw first blood, taking down White Mon. Right. But no, they're just gonna trade him off one apiece, Radiance although maybe if that rotation, attack. they know that they're heading for the Wisdom Runes. Yeah, I mean, they scan, right? So now they say, okay, support's definitely there. Do we catch him on the way back, or do we go for Kasane? Who is oh, and Ari TP's out. mid. He's going to catch the wave, so this okay. might punish Kasane. Yeah, it doesn't have anywhere to go. This should be an easy one. They run in, tries to go for the sidestep. Control is there. A couple oh, more wait. hits. RP connects, pushes him away. Never mind, Kasane waveform through. They manage to finally get that kill. Ryle can't quite get in range to punish this one, though, it looks like. We'll have another shockwave. Thinks about throwing it out, but no. Knowing that the RP was used and no kill, even without a stampede, they're very comfortable just standing here and going for it. Kasane trying to apply pressure as well with Catabol up top, but our team is just waving at him. They're going to high five a little bit. Making a move. Ari looking, hunting. He's going to go for it here. Maybe no. With Abed showing up, still very, very low. The cookie forward tries to bring down for the kill, but Kasane is gone. Oh, Shopify. They brought in numbers and take the finish. Keep this pressure moving up top, where of course they're trying to extract a ton of net worth from this top part of the map. They can't lose control. Like you think about how gaming gladiators often play when they're on dire sides, they love getting wards up inside these ancients right here. And now they're even pressuring. Like he's not far from there right now. Have to defend with the kisses. Yeah, just kisses there. Disruption already used. Abed, now he's out far, but they will turn it. Saberlight stunned with two. Sunray out. Starting to bring White Mon down. He's gonna be the one left behind. Well, there is not going to be a Magnus at this fight easily. But they are setting up for this. What can they do on the side of Shopify? Now they're smoking with Mag behind. They're, they're reading this move. Yeah, they're ready for this. Ari jump forward, wants to do what he can. Pulverize is going to be there, already caught. Don't quite have any items yet for the Mag. He's getting them delivered on the Courier. As the rest of Shopify back out, Kasane pop the ulti, the run forward, now the Stampede trying to hunt this Lycan and see if they can go We're for the kill. Running. They just got the Blink Dagger delivered for the mag. If they're stuck together, Shopify, they have to be what? careful. Kasane, RTZ? run forward, the jump is there, and they caught one. Pulls him back in for the finish. So they decide to give up on Kasane, get that kill on Shopify, but they lose the morph. And it kind of drags them all back. So at least getting the punish on Arteezy is huge there. It still saves their space that they need for their heroes to farm up and become these giant cores that they're hoping for. But Shopify are making it no secret. They want to pressure this mid tower. They want to take over these Ancients. If they lose this part of the map, the game gets way harder for TSF. There's no doubt. Pull one back. See if they can get him. Ulti out from SD. Looking for a stomp. Waits for it. Hits onto immediately. Tomorrow oh. on the turn. 
the Supernova is already down, starting to do a good chunk of damage. Disruption and too much on it. Tomato, he is going to fall. Can they get out with the rest of them, though? Fly trying to escape. Wolves after him. Abed starting to fall lower and lower. TSM chasing almost enough for the kill, and they just can't get anything else out of him. Arteezy comes to join in the fight. Has no morph yet, though. So not able to contribute a whole lot, but hey, at least he's there. They do manage to get that kill on Tomato with a full Crimson Guard completed. That is such a good item against this sort of middling damage that's coming through. Bryle hunting, finds crit, misses on one. Shockwave is there, slowed. Stampede tries to get away. Cookie oh. connects! Everything in perfect concert from TSM. Since you're, like, you're not going to have it for the full chase down. Maybe just, oh God, if they all come though, this could be bad for Shopify, honestly. Ari gets hit. RP already onto a bunch. Fly trying to save it. Can dive in? His crit is already gone, but they have the Supernova down. Already used a little Shredder trying to kill it off. The egg, is it going to pop? They managed to kill it in time. TSM hit on two. No, this, I mean, this aura, this group together, I'm, I'm seeing the writing on the wall. Shopify are going to need to make some big plays here. Oh, Brile. And this could be it. Brile, a bit too far forward, will get disrupted. But they have enough to keep him Dude, alive. He saves. It's so good. But Brile still dropping down the bolt. It's not quite enough damage to kill him off. And now Saberlight, he's in too far. Will manage to get away. Now the disruption, switching into it. Arteezy's in Shadow Demon form, trying to get the Luna connection. The stun is there, but Saberlight starting to drop lower and lower. Manta back away, gets the kill, Abed in, Cookie away, now the disruption, again, Whitemon doing so much on this Shadow Demon. They've already killed the Centaur, can they find even more? Yo, Abed. They force out the BKB on Abed with the blink forward there. I mean, look at this group up potential from TSM. It's going to shred through buildings. Heard him in that little interview talking about how he sees the future playing out. A very lovely voice. <laughs> this is an old man impersonation. <laughs> I played in three TIs. <laughs> oh, it was good. He, he did nice. He yeah, definitely did. We'll see if they can continue moving on here. To the third one. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. He's really trying to force them back right now. Ari staying so far back as well. Shadow Demon luna even here. A little bit of vintage gameplay right now. I mean, nobody's showing up. No, nobody's here. You just got to mix them up so you don't even know who the real one is. The building is just going to fall. You leave Luna alone to oh, hit the for a second. Of. Now bottom connection. Nice. He got the strength form off. Can Arteezy get out of trouble? Are they going to be able to get anybody to help him? Tries to TP out, but no, the skewer was there. Stampede now trying to escape. But Arteezy, he's in no man's land. The hunt, the kisses, everything drops onto his head. Saving the buildings with his body, but giving up another death, it hurts. TSM everywhere. Like with a slightly, you know, unused hero here in the Snapfire. Like one of the benefits of this hero is that she can pick up these greaves and these pipes and feel good about. As they catch another, and you talk about auras, there's only one aura right now on the Shopify Rebellion team, and it's on Saberlight with the Crimson Guard. He's getting chased down. Does not have that many places to go. Was hoping for a blink away, but the chase is there. Bryle has him. Controlled and the slow, steady death. A lot of HP on the Centaur, but eventually he too will die. And just trying to end this game. Shopify, they've got to prep for it, and I, I feel like they need to catch somebody unawares. They're going to have a Scotty soon on the Morph lane. But yeah, TSM, uh, they're not looking to stop anytime soon. You're still a ways away from the heart on Abed. I, I think he is no fan of those plans. Yeah. I mean, he's looking at a blink right now because they just have to find a way to create a fight that's favorable for them right now. Part of that is definitely the Scotty, which is done. Certainly a huge element of that. Uh, they also have level 12 on the Phoenix, which is a big deal, plus the Shard. So trying to get the best egg possible. Shout and trying to catch them before they get a Roche, right? This might be the best moment they're going to get. Can they get anything, though? Jump forward. Bryle finds one. BKB out. Doesn't have an angle. Okay. KB wearing low. Abed thinking about going, not wanting to commit yet. Bad jump. Do they chase? They take down that ward. Hunting. Saber light. Still has Stampede ready. Kasane pumps it. Catches immediately. Ari throwing out the kisses. What damage do they have? The egg is already there. Tomato hits onto it. But now the Manta, the walk away. Stun is there. Can they get it in time? They do. Barely managing to bring it down. Oh. Connected. Says no sorry. TSM, they're tired of playing second fiddle, trying to take the top spot here at NA as they find four. Oh, they're too strong. The auras are there. They race up the high ground. 
into the base immediately. And just like that, trying to end this game. They want to move on in this tournament, continue on a date with Nouns in their future. If they can finish this one off, TSM on the verge as the tier four towers are gonna fall. Ancient turn upon, they don't have anything. There is nothing left as Shopify are gonna be eliminated. TSM, they are moving on. All the thanks between the teams. Regional rivals, of course. Good luck furthers, the thanks back and forth, but Total heartbreak, of course, here for many fans and for Shopify, but TSM just complete elation here. I think of themselves, what some would consider an upset, but at the same time, like regional rivals in NA have proven that nothing is secured in these matchups. Absolutely. I mean, no matter what, there's going to be two teams from NA going home today. It was meant to happen, considering it's three of them playing off against each other. Uh, but TSM moving on, looking incredibly solid. Again, a flawless game coming out from Tomato. The love being spread from the crowd as of course there are eliminations abound today uh, but it will be TSM that move on and have that date against nouns a little bit later on.